These are the five mistakes you don't want to make with your passport that could deny you from boarding the plane and ruin your entire trip. Passport mistake number one, don't accept souvenir stamps. Souvenir stamps are considered unofficial and could invalidate your passport and prevent you from future travel. Some places around the world offer unofficial passport stamps or stickers as a souvenir for visiting. But unless it's an official country, you should never accept these stamps on your passport. For example, you can get souvenir passport stamps in places like Antarctica, Machu Picchu, Churchill, Canada, and Ushuaia, Argentina, the southernmost city in the world. Or in Ecuador, you can get a stamp at the city in the middle of the world, even at Checkpoint Charlie in Berlin. But the problem with these stamps is that since they're not official country stamps, they're considered damage to your passport, and you could be denied boarding your flight if you have one of these. But that's no fun. And collecting stamps for visiting some of the most extreme places around the world are some of the best ways to celebrate and remember your trip. So there are ways you can get around this. You could bring an old passport to collect those fun stamps, or you could also place sticky notes in your passport and ask the stamper to remove the notes so that they can be removed when you get home and keep them as a keepsake. Now you might be saying, Ali, I have some of these stamps and I've never had an issue. While it is possible that you've flown under the radar with these stamps, it's important to know that having them considers your passport to be invalid. And it really all depends on the countries you're traveling to, some are more strict than others, and from what country your passport is issued from. Speaking of damage to your passport, this is one of the most common reasons why you could be denied boarding. Normal wear and tear is to be expected, especially since most passports are valid for about 10 years now. But the type of damage I'm talking about is things like water damage where all the pages have gone all wavy, or damage to the front cover, or the page with your identifiable information. Things like chew marks, rips, tears, or stains. And other damage if you've had pages torn out, or if your dog nibbled the corners or your kids scribbled in it. That's not going to go over well for you. The reason for this is when you're visiting a foreign country, that country doesn't know anything about you. And the only way they can verify who you are is through your passport. If it's damaged, this could be an indication that you might be pretending to be someone you're not. And if the airline allows you to board that flight and the country you're visiting denies you entry, in some cases, it could be the airline's responsibility to fly you back out of that country. So with all that said, please take care of your passport. I recommend keeping it in some sort of protective and waterproof case at all times, even when you're at home. And if you're traveling somewhere tropical and humid, this is even more important. Tip number three is make sure you book your flights in the same name on your passport. The name on your ticket needs to exactly match the name on your passport. So for example, if you get married and are changing your name, book your flight in your passport name or wait to book your flight after your new passport is issued. And when you're booking your flight, triple check that you've spelled your name correctly. Even if you've accidentally swapped the first and last name fields, this could be a big problem. It's never easy to get a name changed after the fact, and most travelers don't even realize they made a mistake until they go to check in for their flight 24 hours before departure. And by then, it's usually too late. One of the biggest and most common mistakes I see that will deny you from boarding the plane is if your passport is not valid for long enough for the country you're trying to enter. For example, some countries require your passport to be valid for at least six months from your planned departure date from that country, not six months from your arrival. So even if you're only going to be in the country for a week, if your passport expires four months after your trip, you could still be denied boarding. It's pretty standard for many countries to require passports be valid for three months, but there are several that require six months. So make sure you check this before you leave for your trip. This isn't a requirement everywhere, but with 195 countries around the world, it's a good idea to check the rules in the countries you're traveling to. If you're someone who is well-traveled or you plan to make a lot of trips over the course of your 10-year passport, you need to make sure that you have at least two or three blank pages. So if you're a country collector, keep this in mind. You might have to start politely asking the immigration agent to stamp on one half of the page instead of right in the middle. So please go check your passports right now and make sure they're going to be valid for your next trip. So your homework after watching this video is go check your passport. That's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.